So when trying to locate the dose tank, you might be looking for either an adjacent lid uh, for a dose tank, adjacent lid for a pump basin, or even in the newer AX20 and AX25 RT systems, the dose tank can be located actually in that same tank um, in the same area that the uh, media treatment system pump is located. So what you want to look for generally, you want to inspect the conditions of the interior components, the piping, the wiring, the condition of the tank, um, the tank connections, the riser connections to the tank. Make sure nothing's leaking water in. That can be a bad situation, um, causing issues with infiltration and drain field overloading if you're headed to a drain field system with the effluent. Um, the system could be timed or demand dosed, so you know be aware that in some cases we're actually time dosing out to the drain field. So that's not really float activated but timer activated so the floats activated timer a uh, certain amount of time goes by and the pump comes on so it's not going to seem like it's working if it's time dose so you'll have to figure that out uh, if it's demand dose certainly you can just move the floats up and down to verify that it will run through a cycle it might be a dual float or single float system uh, once you've checked for pump operation then you're going to want to probably check the splice box or splices if it is a internal or external splice box you can pull the lid off and gaze in there to see if there's any water that's causing issues with the splices if there is water you're going to want to probably uh, dry that out with a rag or something and kind of mop it out and then in some cases it's not a bad idea to consider shooting a little bit of ul listed expanding foam in the conduit to keep that from happening again if possible so then you're going to want to go through finally and verify your alarm conditions. You can verify your low level and high level alarms. Typically those are the lowest and highest floats in your system. If you, low level alarms are fairly rare, at least in our state of Idaho. So uh, most typically you're only going to be checking for a high level alarm condition and whether or not that activates an alarm. In some of the Vericom panels, there is a local alarm delay. So you'll only be able to verify that by seeing the alarm input light up. You won't actually be able to hear the alarm go off unless you're in test mode. And if you're in test mode, the alarm will activate and sound immediately. Uh, so anyway, real quick uh, video here coming up of, of me taking a look into one of these tanks covering most of these things. I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Please like and subscribe. So in this particular case, we have a pump basin. And so this receives the filtrate effluent from the Advantix unit. We pulled the lid on this just to verify that everything looks like it's functioning correctly. It demand doses up to a drip dose tank, which doses obviously out to a drip field. And I think the drip dose tank's a common tank for a two-party system, although the second-party system wasn't, hasn't been installed yet. But this looks pretty good. It's pretty clear water coming in. Um, usually you want to verify pump operation, make sure that pump comes on. We'll go up to the drip system and verify that we have the proper pressures on the supply and return manifold. Next.